Hi people, it's Archivist here and today I would like to talk to you about single player only games. Andrea Pacino, co-founder of developer Radio Dawn, recently confirmed via Twitter that The Order 1886 will not feature an online multiplayer mode. Your initial reaction to this revelation may be a negative one, omitting such a great feature as multiplayer can at first seem lazy. However, I don't believe that leaving out multiplayer is such a bad idea. By avoiding multiplayer, the developer will have a lot more time to focus on single player. This can result in a deeper story, more advanced game mechanics and sometimes a longer campaign. Two examples of multiplayer impacting single player that come to mind are God of War Ascension and the most recent SimCity. Starting with God of War, the inclusion of multiplayer definitely had an impact on the game's story. Although the single player was still very good, the narrative was nowhere near as compelling as its predecessor, God of War 3. There were a lot less cutscenes, the bosses weren't as large, and Kratos' motivations felt a little flimsy at times. The multiplayer in the game was surprisingly fun and in many ways actually very unique, but personally I think a well-told story would have had more of a lasting impact. SimCity certainly represents the more extreme side of the spectrum. So many limitations were forcibly imposed on the player to maintain the multiplayer element. At the game's launch there were a lot of issues surrounding server stability, meaning that a lot of eager players could not log into the servers. In any other game this wouldn't have been too much of a problem, however in the case of SimCity, you are forced to join servers even if you want to play alone. The general idea of multiplayer is that you can add an enormous amount of lasting appeal to a game. In certain cases, its absence would be unforgivable, for example imagine Battlefield without multiplayer. However, in other instances it just seems like an excuse to sell the player DLC. Games like The Last of Us and Tomb Raider had amazing single players and yet multiplayer sections that felt like something of an afterthought. To be honest, determining which games should support multiplayer and which should not is a tricky business. In the case of The Order 1886, I'm glad Ready at Dawn are choosing to focus all their efforts on single player. I think a new IP can benefit a great deal more from having either an excellent single player or excellent multiplayer. Being merely mediocre at both doesn't have quite the same impact. The Order 1886 isn't the only PlayStation exclusive that will be single player only. Infamous Second Son, which also happens to be the game I'm anticipating most this year, will also forego multiplayer. On the other hand, the Xbox One has been pushing Titan for a great deal, a game that will only feature multiplayer. Taking this into account, I wonder if the PlayStation 4 will be the best console for those who enjoy single player, whereas the Xbox One will be better for those who prefer multiplayer. It's far too early in the console's life cycles to tell if this will be the case, but there's no harm in guessing. So before I wrap this video up, I would like to ask you guys a question. Do you believe that if a game is clearly single player orientated, it should not feature multiplayer? Let me know in the comments below. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.